I've just been reading up on S hooks. Here's an S hook I bent earlier. This is a heavier gauge wire, but it's quite difficult to bend. But I haven't got a proper S hook bender. I've made one out of wood because I can't, I haven't got any bolts, but it sort of works. Um, but I bent this up and I thought I'd put a hook on the end to make winding easier. Save taking the prop off of the rubber, um, which may or may not work, but I forgot to put the prop on, so that's useless. So I'm going to try and bend another one like that. This is how I've seen videos on how to do it. So first off, we have to bend a 90 degree bend, about quarter inch. Make it slightly longer, I can always trim it down. 90 degree. Let me hook that on there like that. So we're going to do a left-handed one 180 degree bend in this side, like that. Is it there yet? Very nearly. And that pin there, the pins are 1 16th drill bits, by the way. Uh, the second one, it's got to bend around this way. Another 180 degree bend like that so we got that so far now we have to bend this side up 90 degrees to match the other side this has to pass through your nose block as well so you don't want to make it too big up like that just trying to keep things as square as possible Okay, then we need to come in 45 degrees by trying to pick up the center line of that bit of wire. So, and we want to aim the bend towards the wire opposite, I think. So, 45 degrees like that, and then a little bit of sort of guessing, bend it. Parallel again, so it comes back out parallel with the first two lines. All right, that's all over the place. So let's just try and thing is, if it's if it's everything centered up on itself, then it's going to run a lot without vibration. Just keep tweaking it until you're happy. Everything is so that's going to go through there. And then the propeller goes on. What I was trying to do was to bend a, to save having to unhook it from the model, and wind it externally by having a hook on the nose here. For that to work, I've got to bend a 90 degree bend to pick up the square bit on the propeller. So now it's all locked together as one. But to get a loop, on the outside I now have to bend that back so as I've got sort of a, a loop that I can attach to ease that around that okay. so now this will hook into there just to wind the motor it shouldn't come out look at that <laughs> there we are that's my prop shaft assembly so let's um see if we can hook it up and see what happens so this will go into there push it around till it's in there so that's like that okay okay cliff okay 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 now if you haven't got a winding stooge a helper is good because they can hold the model but for now i'm just going to try and wedge it between my knees put some wines on it see what happens this isn't ideal guys and the problem i'm going to have is oh it's pulling in okay look as long as the s hook let's just take that off there a minute as long as the s hook goes through the hole in the front i can always 
but you see it can't come off the hook see what it's not riding up at all now so that's success that will go in there like that clip on there like that and we're good to go so there we are guys that's how um i make an s hook <laughs> but there are videos online telling you how to do it and and um my video probably isn't brilliant but it'd be better to get this works okay be better to get the proper thing i think or at least drill two holes in the head of a steel bolt and that would do it as well then you can mount the bolt in the uh, vice there we are. that looks quite nice actually with that almost like a spinner isn't it well if you could stick a spinner over the top cheers guys bye